What's up guys, it's Spirit and I'm back in for another editing tutorial and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Tommy Map in After Effects. Yeah, let's get right into it. First things first, when you open up After Effects, you want to put a new composition in, 1920 by 1080 I usually do 48 frames, uh, hit OK. Now what you want to do is find a song you're going to use and import it, there we go. You want to drag that song into the timeline, so you want to get a clip that you're going to use. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using cinematics, and I'm going to show you some time wrapping on the cinematics, and then time wrapping on the clip. So, I'm going to do cinematics first. So, I got these two cinematics I'm going to use, the ones that I used in my last video. If you haven't uh, watched that, go check it out. First things first, um, to your timeline. Secondly, hit on the audio layer and double hit L on your keyboard so you can see the... the the waveform of the audio you want to get the part of the song you want to use start to edit after you do that you just want to trim it delete the second one double click double hit L on your keyboard and you have the beats now what you want to do is add markers you add markers by the little uh, comp marker in the all the way to the right side of the timeline you can hit it it'll place a marker or whatever your cursor is you want to do that for each beat after you do that now what you want to do is replay file you want to trim it to where you want to start the sin and then you want to trim these after you you're done trim these two sins what you want to do is expand your timeline by hitting these two things you want to right click on the first clip time enable time mapping is place a frame place a keyframe go to the end of the the clip and drag the time to wherever you want it to end i want it to end right there when the bomb goes on the cake drag it to the ending of the clip you want to highlight both of the keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease the frames. You want to hit this graph editor right on the side. Hit it, it will open this little graph editor. You want to hit the first keyframe and move the, the yellow bar up. You want to go to the last keyframe and move this yellow bar to the left. And it will make a little curve motion. What you want to do is, see my cursor, go right here. The first box of the four, you want to double click it to where it has this little arrow pointed to the three dots. Get something like this. So basically, it's like a fast slow motion. And there's no frame drops because of the frame blending you're applying to the clip. What you want to do is go to the second one and repeat the same process. And this is what you will get. So now. It might look a little bit off-centered. In order to fix that, we're going to pan crop. So what you want to do is go to the first clip, hit S on your keyboard to enable scale. You want to zoom in a little bit and center it. What you can do to add a little motion to your cinematic, you want to add a keyframe and go to the ending of the clip and zoom in a little bit more. Make sure it's centered. You want to highlight over all back to graph editor and do the same motion, the curve motion, just move it up. You just hit P on your keyboard to go to the position, add a keyframe. As I said, center it, go to the ending. See, it's a little off centered. You just want to fix it. Now highlight them again, F9, graph editor. Now what you want to do with the position, you want to right click on the position and hit separate dimensions so you can get these these two different graphs. You want the one that you're moving, which is a Y position, you just want to move the last keyframe all the way to the end. So it's just zoomed in more and it's more centered and it's just like an overall good cinematic. You want to do that for the second sin and yeah. Now to touch up the sin, you can add directional blur. What you need is the BCC plugin and to do that, what you want to do is hit the first clip, go to layer, new adjustment layer. You want to control shift D to split it a little bit, go a couple keyframes behind, go a couple keyframes ahead, split it, delete, search up BCC directional blur, apply that to the adjustment layer. You want to increase the blur amount to however much you want. I'm going to do 36. I'm going to animate that, hit U to see the keyframes, start of the adjustment layer, make it zero, the ending, and make it zero. What you want to do is go to where the blur is being animated right click marker so when you close it you know the keyframes there so you have to do is click the adjustment layer copy control v and then put it to the second 
clip and now you get something like this so you don't really see it now but it's basically like a, instead of blur mode curving into the next sin you're just blurring it since it's like a, a hard beat so it just fits all right so for this one i'm gonna show you how to do time wrapping for your clips your normal gameplay drag the clip trim to where your clip starts this is a basic box fight clip i trimmed it now i have these two beats this is where i'm gonna like put them on point so for the beat where i want to shoot I'm gonna drag it okay shoots right there perfect now what you want to do th this is how it looks normally now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it where on my shotgun it's slow motion and then I shoot him and it's like fast forward slow motion and it's just like an overall smooth timer mapping smooth it'll look smooth on your clips right click on it time and then time mapping beginning of the clip add a keyframe when he pulls out his shotgun right here he pulls it out add another keyframe go to the, the beat where you want him to kill add that keyframe go to the ending of the clip and add another keyframe now what you want to do to make everything easier is where the keyframe sets where he pulls out his shotgun you want to split the clip go to where he shoots and you want to split the clip again so now when you're on the when you're about to apply the slow motion on the where he pulls out the shotgun you want to hit u on that clip you'll get the keyframes you want to highlight these two keyframes f9 on your keyboard pull up the graph editor and it'll look something like this you want to zoom in so you see more in depth of it bring the left yellow line up the right yellow line down you want to apply frame blending and you want to go to where he shoots you to open up the, the clip keyframes highlight f9 so it's like the same thing but for the for the kill you want to also apply frame blending so there's no frame drops and this is what it will look like oh. very smooth and overall a great thing to apply on your clips your highlight montages anything basically it's overall a good time map Project